वेलकम व्यूअर्स वी कम अक्रॉस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मेटीरियल्स इन अवर डेली लाइफ इफ यू लुक एट इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द मेटीरियल्स वी फाइंड दैट इन सम मॉलिक्यूल्स सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव चार्जेस को इनसाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल एंड सी एच फोर मिथेन मॉलिक्यूल बट वी हैव अनदर क्लास ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स लाइक एच सी एल मॉलिक्यूल एंड एन एस सी एल मॉलिक्यूल एंड इवन वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इन विच सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव चार्जेस डू नॉट को इनसाइड सच मॉलिक्यूल्स आर कॉल्ड पोलर मॉलिक्यूल्स और इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल्स इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ डाइपोल एंड वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एनी पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सियल लाइन एंड इक्विटोरियल प्लेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल नाउ एवरी डाइपोल हैज सम इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल मोमेंट एंड डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ अ डाइपोल इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द चार्ज एंड सेपरेशन बिटवीन द टू चार्जेस इट इज डिनोटेड बाय वेक्टर पी मैथमेटिकली पी इज इक्वल टू Q into two A. Its unit is coulomb meter, or we write it as coulomb. For coulomb, we write capital C meter, coulomb meter. And by convention, the direction from minus Q to plus Q. the direction of dipole moment is from the negative charge to positive charge that is in this direction vector p let us try to solve a problem a system has two charges qa is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb and qb is equal to minus 2.5 Into ten to the power minus seven coulomb. Q A is located at the point A, which is at zero, zero, and minus fifteen. And and point A is at zero, zero, minus fifteen centimeter. And point B is at zero, zero, plus fifteen centimeter, respectively. what are the total charge and electric dipole moment of the system so you can observe that in this particular question we have two charges that is qa and qb and their magnitudes are just equal and the sign is opposite and we know that a pair of two equal and opposite charges separated by certain distance is called a dipole so this system is a dipole and in this particular question you have to find the net charge on the system and the dipole moment of this dipole so to find the net charge q net is equal to the sum of qa and qb qa plus qb and because their magnitudes are just equal and opposite so this sum will come out to be zero so the net charge on the system is zero the net charge on the dipole is zero now you have to find the electric dipole moment of this dipole and the dipole moment of dipole is denoted by vector p and its magnitude is given by q into 2a where q is the magnitude of any of the charge and 2a is the separation between the two charges now if we draw three dimensional coordinate system we can clearly observe that the charge qa is situated at 
0 0 minus 15 that is it is situated on suppose this is z axis suppose it is x and it is y. So, the charge q a is situated at z axis to the left of the origin at a distance of 15 centimeter. Suppose this distance is 15 centimeter. So, this point will be this point on z axis will be 0 0 minus 15 centimeter and the charge q b is situated at the same distance 0 0 plus 15 centimeter to the right of the origin on z axis. So, we clearly observe that the distance between q a and q b becomes the, the magnitude of the distance between q a and q b becomes 15 plus 15. So, the total distance between q a and q b comes out to be 30 centimeter. So, you have to take 2 a as the distance between the two charges q a and q b and it will be 30 centimeter. So, the dipole moment of the dipole becomes q that is you may take the magnitude of q a or q b 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 multiplied by 30 centimeter which you can convert in meters 30 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, it becomes 75 into 10 to the power minus 9. Coulomb meter which is the unit of electric dipole moment. So, this is the magnitude of electric dipole moment of the system of two charges that are given in the question and the direction because dipole moment is a vector quantity. So, the direction of the dipole moment vector is always from negative charge to positive charge. From this problem we observe that the total charge of the electric dipole is 0. This does not mean that the field of the electric dipole is 0 since the charge q and minus q are separated by some distance the electric fields due to them when added do not exactly cancel out. Now, let us try to find an expression for electric field at any point on axial line and equatorial plane of electric dipole one by one. So, let us start with electric field intensity at any point on axial line of electric dipole minus q and plus q let the center of dipole is O and half length is A. So, another half is also A and the total length of the dipole is 0. Now, suppose we want to find electric field at any point P which is situated on the axis of this electric dipole. This is called axis of electric dipole and let us suppose we have a point P here which is present at a distance small r from the center of the dipole towards plus q charge. Distance from center to point P is small r. So, to find the electric field at point P due to this dipole, we will just find the electric field due to the two charges of the dipole one by one. First we will find the electric field due to plus q charge and then we will find electric field due to minus q charge. And because electric field is a vector quantity, then to find the net electric field at point P, let us find electric field due to minus q charge first. E due to minus q charge. 
we can denote it by E of minus 2. Now, we know that electric field due to a charge Q at a distance r from it at any point is written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square and if it is for positive charge then the direction is radially outward it will be in this direction in the direction of r so we multiply it by r cap and if it is due to minus q charge so the direction of electric field will be radially inward now let us use this formula to find electric field due to minus q charge and plus q charge one by one now electric field due to minus q charge will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the magnitude of the charge mod q divided by distance from minus q to point p and it becomes r plus a square and because it is due to minus q charge so the direction of electric field at point p will be radially inward that means towards minus q the direction of electric field due to minus q at point p will be towards minus q that is from plus q to minus q and we know that the direction of electric dipole moment vector is from negative charge to positive charge and here you can see that electric field due to minus q charge is from positive charge to negative charge that means it is in a direction opposite to the direction of dipole moment. So, to associate some direction to it let us multiply it by minus p cap. Now, let us find electric field due to plus q charge at the same point p e of plus q and the magnitude will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught plus q divided by the distance from plus q to point p and it is r minus a whole square according to the formula. Now, the direction of electric field at point p due to plus q charge is always radially outward. So, it will be towards left E of plus q will be towards left that is from negative charge to positive charge and negative charge to positive charge means in the direction of electric dipole moment vector p. So, to associate some direction to it we just multiply it by vector p cap. So, this is the electric field at point P due to plus q charge and this is the electric field at point P due to minus q charge. Now, let us apply superposition principle to find electric field at point P because electric field is a vector and vectors cannot be added algebraically. So, to find the net field at point P the net electric field at point P will be the vector sum of the electric field due to minus q charge and electric field due to plus q charge. So, the net electric field at point P will be equal to E of minus q charge plus E of plus q charge. Now, let us put the values it was 1 by 
फोर पाए एफसेल एंड नॉट क्यू बाय आर प्लस ए स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय माइनस की पी कैप प्लस वन बाय फोर पाए एफसेल एंड नॉट क्यू बाय आर माइनस ए स्क्वायर पी कैप Now, if we take q by four pi epsilon naught as common, so it becomes one by r minus a square. This is positive part, and this one is negative part. Minus one by r plus a square. and the direction becomes p cap now you can take the lcm it is r minus a square into r plus a square so it becomes r plus a square minus r minus a square q by 4 pi epsilon not multiplied by p cap on solving it you may get e net at point p becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon not multiplied by 4 a q divided by r square minus a square And whole square multiplied by p cap. This four a q can be splitted as two a into two q. Divided by r square minus a square and whole square multiplied by key p cap. now you know that q into 2a this q into 2a is called electric dipole moment so we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 2p upon r square minus a square over whole square multiplied by p cap so this is the final expression for electric field at any point on axial line of electric dipole hence electric field at any point on axial line of electric dipole can be expressed as this formula and from this formula it can be clearly seen that the direction of electric field at any point on axial line is in the direction of electric dipole moment vector p that is from negative charge to positive charge now let us find electric field at any point on equatorial plane of electric dipole suppose this is your electric dipole having charges plus q and minus q center at o and the total length has 2a and let us suppose we want to find electric field on this equatorial plane this plane this line is called equatorial line and the plane passing through the center of this dipole and perpendicular to the axis this plane is called equatorial plane this is called equatorial plane of this dipole so let us suppose we have any point p on this equatorial plane of electric dipole where we wish to find electric field suppose this point p is at a distance small r from the center of dipole now to find net electric field at point p 
again we will find electric field due to minus 2 charge and plus 2 charge 1 by 1 and then to find the net electric field at point P, we will just apply superposition principle because electric field is a vector and vectors cannot be added algebraically. And the net electric field at point P will be the vector sum of electric fields due to minus Q charge and plus Q charge. Let us find E at P due to plus Q charge and it can be written as E of plus Q and it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q upon the square of the distance from plus q to point p and the square of this, this distance using Pythagoras theorem can be written as r square plus a square that is square of hypotenuse is equal to square of perpendicular plus square of base and the direction will be from plus q to point p. This is the direction of electric field due to plus q charge. Suppose this angle is theta. Now you can resolve E of plus q into two components, this one and this one. And if this angle is theta, then the corresponding angle, this is also theta and this component will be E of plus q cos theta and this will be E of plus q sin theta. Similarly, we can find electric field at P due to minus q charge and the expression will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. The magnitude of minus q, it is again plus q upon the square of this distance and the square of this distance is also r square plus a square and the direction of electric field at, at any point and the direction of electric field at any point a due to minus q charge is radially inward. So, the direction of electric field due to minus q charge will be from p to minus q and it, it, it will be e of minus q. Now, if this angle is theta, so this will also be theta because this point P is present on equatorial plane. And if this is theta, so this will also be theta alternate interior angle. Now you can resolve E of minus Q also into two components E of minus Q cos theta and E of minus Q sin theta. From this figure, you can clearly observe that sin theta components being equal and opposite and acting along same line of action cancel out each other and cos theta components being in the same direction add up to give you the net electric field at point P on this equatorial plane of electric dipole. So, E net on equatorial plane will be E of plus q cos theta plus E of minus q cos theta. And you can observe that the magnitude of E of plus q is equal to the magnitude of E of minus q. So, net electric field at any point on equatorial plane will be you can write 2 twice of this one E of plus q cos theta and putting values of E of plus q and cos theta in this expression we can find 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p upon r square plus a square raised to the power 3 by 2. So, this is the magnitude of electric field at point P on equatorial plane of electric dipole and the direction you can clearly observe that the direction is from left to right that is from plus q charge to minus q charge. And we know that 
the direction of dipole moment is from minus 2 to plus 2 and here we are getting the direction of net electric field from plus q to minus q that is in a direction opposite to the direction of electric dipole moment. So, in vector form you can write the final expression for electric field on equatorial line as E equatorial line or equatorial plane is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P upon R square plus A square raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied by minus p cap. This is the final expression for electric field at any point on equatorial line of electric dipole. Now, you can think of the limit when the dipole size 2a approaches 0. If the size of the dipole is very, very small as compared to the magnitude of the charges. Now, let us write final expressions for electric field at any point on axial line and equatorial plane of electric dipole. So, E axial we get 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p upon r square minus a square and whole square multiplied by p cap and electric field on equatorial plane we get 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p upon r square plus a square raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied by minus p cap. Now, can you think of the limit when the dipole size 2a approaches 0? Suppose this is your dipole and this is the length of the dipole. If dipole size 2a approaches 0 and the charge q approaches infinity in such a way that the product P is equal to Q into 2A is finite. Such a dipole is referred to as point dipole. Now, can you compare the electric field of a point dipole with electric field due to point charge? For a point dipole, we can write that R is very, very greater than A. The distance of the point from the center of dipole is very, very large as compared to the half length of the dipole. In that case, A square can be neglected as compared to R square. So, for point dipole, for point dipole, E axial becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p by r cube multiplied by p cap and E equatorial becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube multiplied by minus p cap. Now, you can clearly observe that electric field due to a point dipole varies inversely as the cube of the distance. Electric field due to dipole, whether it is on axial line or it is on equatorial line, it is inversely proportional to the cube of the distance from the center of the dipole. Whereas, electric field due to a point charge, from the definition of electric field we know that electric field due to point charge is inversely proportional to the square of distance from the charge. In this program, we discussed electric dipole, dipole moment of a dipole and we learned to derive the expressions for electric field at any point on the axial line and equatorial plane of electric dipole. Further, we compared the dipole field with the field of a 
पॉइंट चार्ज थैंक यू